Hello everyone and welcome back to Mod Development and Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I have made improvements to my Death Star and I think it's ready for release. I've improved the texture mapping, the UV unwrapping, and I think that works a little bit better for the details in Northern and Southern Hemispheres. I have added the exhaust port, the critical exhaust port. Um, you can sort of see it here. It's this tube right here leading directly into the core. Uh, but it is two meters in diameter. That's actually a little bit better at this scale uh, because this Death Star is, uh, well, 175th scale of Death Star 1. And so uh, it's uh, 1.6 kilometers in diameter. And so somewhere around here, uh, okay, right there is the hexagon. I mean, I'll, I'll try and uh, color it a little bit better, but uh, there's the he hexagon. <laughs> that goes directly through, as you can see. Uh, so there is that, and there is the trench. I, I tried to get these little bits and bobs textured properly, and in fact, in Blender, they are textured properly. Uh, so we'll, we'll talk about the shields in a sec here. Let me get rid of them for clarity. But if I unclick there, you can see those little boxes actually have textures. But for some reason in Kerbal Space Program, it's not popping up. So uh, that's something I have to figure out. Those little boxes are supposed to have little textures on them. But anyway, we have a trench here. And there are hangers also along that trench. For some reason, uh, there's a little bit of a transparency problem every now and again. Uh, so that's, that's one of the hangers. It's not exactly uh, textured the greatest. But anyway, um, that's something to work on later. But one of the reasons there's a little bit of a transparency issue occasionally is probably because of the way I did these colliders. So you can see a northern and southern hemisphere, hemispheric collider that is acting as a shield. It's translucent, you know, you can see the sort of blue effect. And obviously it's a collider. You, if you hit it, uh, that you will collide. Uh, so it's acting as a shield, as a physical shield, uh, except down the center trench here, which is open. So you can go down there, uh, but watch out. Uh, of course, the floor of the trench is still a collider as well. It's just not a visible collider. Uh, so that's an improvement, I think. I've added ion thrusters on the bottom. So the front top, the top is where the exhaust port is. The bottom on the direct opposite side is where the ion thrusters are. And that's why it's oriented this way. You know, the way it orients itself would not be correct. So it orients based on this location up front here. And unfortunately, I haven't got nearly enough xenon gas in here. And they really are ion thrusters. I don't know what other propulsion... See, this is a transparency problem. I don't know what, what causes that. So that's something to work on. But I don't know what propulsion the Death Star had. I put ion thrusters in because the the Empire seemed to like ion thrusters. So, yeah, uh, they're just regular old ion thrusters, 4,200 seconds of ISP. Uh, but considering we only have 20, uh, sorry, 12,000 tons of xenon gas right now, uh, that doesn't amount to much. Only 24 seconds of thrust uh, and 23 meters per second of delta V. So not great there because we're getting to like 2 billion xenon gas and I don't know if there's any number limit for how many units of a propellant we can have so I'll have to see you can always clip uh, tanks in but of course this is a downscale Death Star right now this is a 2% scale of what it's supposed to be which is still 75 uh, what you got 175th scale of the real thing so and the point is you can't really clip in really big tanks in here until it's scaled up. So as far as scaling up is concerned, I'll talk about that in a sec. Let's just cheat it into orbit. The reason it's scaled down is so that we can cheat it into orbit. Otherwise, it'll be very hard to get it up there. Now, this is just 75 megabytes or so. Uh, but it comes in a pack with other sci-fi vessels I've made, in particular the Star Destroyer. And that's actually full-sized. So we can't really see it very well right now. So I probably have to do the same trick. In other words, downscale it and then upscale it once it's in orbit. So right now we're inside the, Death Star, uh, the Star Destroyer. 
and th this is the Star Destroyer engine right there. So there's the Star Destroyer and then there's also the original Enterprise. The original Enterprise comes with a body. Forget if I downscaled that or not. Uh, the body is like that and then there's a bridge that you slap on top of it, uh, wherever that node is, and then impulse engines and then left and right nacelles. And those actually are warp drives if you have KSB Interstellar, and so they will work with KSB Interstellar. And the impulse engines should work pretty well too. Uh, and I think I've launched that from the surface if you should want to do that. So those are the three things in the sci-fi pack. The pack will be 150 megabytes. So yeah, I'll do improvements to the Star Destroyer and the Enterprise as well since I think the techniques that I've learned for the Death Star here would apply to them fairly well. So anyway, let's uh, bring this outside and see how it uh, gets to orbit. Given its mass, and you can change that if you want, uh, you will probably want to cheat into orbit. <laughs> you could reduce the mass and then launch it and then upscale it afterward, afterwards, but that is up to you. Nope. Yes, of course it's 21 million tons, so the launch clamps can't hold it, but at least stop it from rolling. So that's good. But the shielding down here seems to have, well I said stop it from rolling, but it's rolling a little bit. The shielding down here seems to have a weird effect. I'm not sure about that. But, okay. Set orbit. And it seems it does this thing, and so you have to set orbit again twice, so do it twice in order for it to work. So here you can't really see the shield against the dark background, but against the Earth's surface you can, which is sort of nifty, I think. And here uh, we can have it try to turn prograde with its reaction wheel, which it should be doing very slowly. I mean, I, I don't really want it to turn fast or anything. So let's activate the engines, and if we... Oh yeah, I can throw up. Okay, good. Where the heck are they? Well, we'll see them soon enough. They're revving up, apparently. Oh, there they are. Here. There they are. But it seems like the reactor isn't powerful enough to have them go full power all the time. I'll have to look into that. Many mega newtons of ion power, iron thruster, it is changing our orbit right now. They don't have any gimbal or anything, so they can't control it. It's The Death Star relies on the reaction wheel to actually turn it. So, okay, there, there it is. And it's just a novelty thing, really. But, okay, right now it's fairly small. I mean, it's still pretty big by normal spacecraft definitions, but it's fairly small as far as what we want it to be. So let's take a look at the, at the configuration files in Notepad so you know what to do with it. So this, if you get the zip file, the zip file will have a game data folder in it. And then in that there's EDB mods, then parts, then sci-fi, and then the Death Star config. And right now you can see it's scaled to 2% size. And so to get full size, you would put just 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, or 111. You should do that for everything here and then for scale as well. And then save that and then it should be fine. In that case, it'll be 800 meters in radius. So, no, sorry. Uh, no, that's right. 800 meters in radius. And you could go to 2222 two, 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 and then it'll be 1.6 kilometers in radius. But that would be pretty close to the limit for what you could fit in physical render range. You can maybe get bigger than that, but then you won't be able to really physically interact with it properly. Uh, so this is the realism overhaul config. That's ro-devstar.cfg. If you don't want to use it in realism overhaul, you can just delete this. Uh, if you do want to use it in Realism Overhaul, you should just go ahead and make that a 1.0 or 2.0, just like the other one. Um, I considered whether or not to even have this 
remodeling the Death Star. I mean, you could just get rid of this and then you'd only have to change it here. Um, I'm not too sure about my policy on that. So anyway, I'm gonna keep it low sized for now. If you wanted to change how much the reactor produced, right now it's producing quite a lot, 100 million units in theory, but it seems like it's not enough for our ion engines. Huh? And then the electric charge is like that, and then xenon gas is 2 billion. Of course, we could have less powerful ion engines, but it's going to have trouble pushing the 21 million tons. The better solution might be just to make the Death Star lighter. This is sort of a realistic size for a 800 meter radius object, which is still much smaller than the real Death Star, mind you, but it'll be functional. And so it's up to you what to do with that. You could increase the efficiency of the ion engines there. That's possible too. The numbers are up to you. And if you are in realism overhaul and you want to change the reaction wheel, you can change it here. Okay, so those are the details, the nitty gritty details. I haven't really brought another ship up to it since I've made the changes. I'm still wanting the trench objects to actually have their texture, so I'm working on that. But anyway, it looks better now, and maybe it'll be interesting for people. It's got a shield. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know if you can blow it up though. So yeah, it'll be interesting. Crashing into it is probably. I don't know how Kerbal will deal with that if it's 21 million tons, but presumably you won't make a dent. But I have not tried it. I'll let you guys try it and tell me what happens. So uh, it's turning really slowly though. I hope I hope it's eventually capable of getting to prograde. Anyway. So there you have it, that's Death Star. Link in the video description for, again, the Death Star Enterprise and the Star Destroyer. And I'll try to add further details and improvements and other ships later on. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.